We're looking for a solution to this system of equations. So a solution to a system of equations is going to be an ordered pair that's going to look like x comma y. I need to find both x and y, and it tells us to use elimination. So when I'm using elimination, my goal is to add the two equations together and eliminate one of the variables. Right now, if I were to add them together, neither one of the variables, x nor y, would eliminate. So I need to do a little bit of transformation. I do notice that I have a negative 2x in the first equation and a 3x in the second equation. So if I could turn those into a negative 6x and a positive 6x, then those would cancel out when I add them together. So let's try it. Let's multiply this one times 3. And I'm going to multiply everything in that equation times 3. So it's going to become negative 6x plus 21y equals negative 9. Now let's multiply this second equation times 2. And that will give me a 6x minus 8y equals 22. Now when I add those together, the x's drop out because negative 6x plus 6x is 0x. 21y plus a negative 8y is going to give me 13y. And negative 9 plus 22 will give me 13. So now I can solve this for y by dividing by 13. I get y equals 1. I'm only halfway there, though. Remember, my answer needs to be in this form, x comma y. So I have y. So let's go ahead and put that in there, comma 1. But in order to find x, I need to take y and plug it back into either one of the original equations. It does not matter which. I'm going to choose the first one, negative 2x plus 7 times y, which I just found is 1, equals negative 3. So let's solve this for x now. Negative 2x plus 7 equals negative 3. Let's subtract 7 from both sides. Negative 2x equals negative 10. Divide both sides by negative 2. And I get x equals negative 10 divided by negative 2 is 5. So it looks like my x-coordinate is a 5. So my answer to the system of equations is 5 comma 1. So if I were to plug in a 5 for x and a 1 for y, that would satisfy both of those equations.